now boys and girls today we're going to learn our social studies so your green book rr01 so before we start you may pray first and then after that listen the story and then you may do the work you may get your green book rr01 open page number open page number three listen carefully for the story God made everything, Genesis 1. Long, long ago, there was nothing except God. There were no birds to sing their sweet songs, no sky to hold the moon and the stars, no wind to cool a hot day. There were no trees to grow and no dogs to bark. There were no rocks, mud, pedals, or little boys and girls like you. There was only God. God decided to make something very big. He made the heavens. God also made the earth. He made the earth so that it had rank rocks. It had slippery stones and dirt of many colors. God made the heavens and the earth, but God was not finished. The earth God made had no light. The earth was dark and covered with water. Why there wasn't even a flashlight or lamp to turn on? Everything was very, very dark. God did not want darkness to be everywhere on his earth. So he said, let there be light. Then in the deep, deep darkness, light began to shine. God watched the light shine. It made him very glad to see the light shining in the darkness. God then used the light to make the very first day that was ever been. He used the darkness to make the very first night. On the second day, God decided to make a sky. He decided to make a sky big enough for fluffy white clouds to float across. He made the sky higher than the mountains. He made a sky that would someday hold rainbows of red, blue, and purple. God had made a big beautiful sky that day for his earth. On the third day, water still covered everything. There was no place to walk jump or run. Everything was very, very wet. God then divided the waters into flowing rivers, wide lakes, big oceans, and little creeks. Now there was ground to walk on. There were places where children could someday run and play without getting wet. Let the grass grow, God said. Let the trees grow fruit and let flowers bloom. Let plants grow everywhere. And then trees grew. There were apple trees with big red shiny apples. Beautiful flowers grew that smelled as sweet as honey and as fresh as rain. Grass grew thick and green. Another day was done. It had been very special. For now the earth had beautiful streams and rivers. The earth was green with flowers, bushes, and willow trees. On the morning of the fourth day, a very exciting thing happened. God made a huge glowing sun to shine on all the trees and flowers. He made the moon to give light at night. God made stars. He made more stars than you could count on you, your fingers. When he set the stars in the sky, they shined and twinkled. The sky now had wonderful clouds. It had a sun, a moon, and stars. On the fifth day, God made birds. He made Robin to sit in the branches of big trees. God made ducks 
to float in quiet ponds. God then made fish to swim in the waters. Little minnows swam about in the stream. Large fish swam in the deep ocean. God made spiders to spin webs. God made busy ants that hurried here and there as they carried tiny crumbs and pieces of sand. One, two, three, four, five. Five days had gone by. There were lakes and trees and butterflies. There were stars, dogs, and mosquitoes. The, the earth was full of things that God had made, but God was not finished yet. On the sixth day, he began to make animals. God made huge elephant and tiny chipmunk. He made soft furry rabbits and catering monkeys. Then God did something very special. He made a man. The man was named Adam. Adam was different from the animals. Adam was a man, not an animal. Adam gave names to all the animals on the earth. There was a big animal with long skinny legs and a long neck. It ate leaves that were high in the trees. Can you guess what Adam called the animal? Yes, Adam called the animal a giraffe. Another animal, little, a tiny, was, was gray and furry. This animal had two tiny black eyes and four feet that went Pampering by, Adam called the animal a mouse. Then God gave Adam a special friend. The friend was a woman. Her name was Eve. Adam loved Eve. She was to be Adam's helper. Now Adam could walk and talk each day with Eve. Adam and Eve could walk and talk each day with God. In the beginning, there was nothing at all. Now, there was everything. God had made a big sky. He made stars to be seen in the darkness. Owls were made that could say, ooh, ooh. God made little pig to play in the mud and ground. Oing, 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 oing. He made big turkey to say, wobble, wobble. And then the duck, quack, 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 God made big blue lakes where people could splash and play. He made little soft fox that slept soundly by mother fox at night. God made many wonderful things. Do you know who was most special that God made? People. Adam and Eve were most special to God. Tall mountain covers with snow were, were bigger than Adam and Eve, and yet Adam and Eve were more special to God. Fury brown lions were stronger than Adam and Eve, but Adam and Eve were more special to God. Eagles could soar high in the sky, higher than the strip tops, yet to God Adam and Eve were much more important. Adam and Eve were special to God. God talked to Adam and Eve. He walked with Adam and Eve. God loved Adam and Eve very much. Adam and Eve loved God. God had made Adam and Eve to be his friends. God made you and God made me. We are special to him. We are more special than eagles that fly. We are more special than strong mountains. We are special because God loved us. He loved me. And he loved you. Let me open page number six. Ace and wax. This is wax and this is ace. Listen carefully. Ace is calling wax. Wax! Can you please help wax to get to ace? With your finger, trace the path wax will take to get to ace. With your finger, 
at least. With your red marker, draw a line down the path from wax to ace. With your eyes, follow the path wax takes to get to ace. Noah was safe in the ark. Noah is very gentleman and obeying God. One day, Noah get a message from God that he have to make a ark. Noah was obey and listen to God instruction. Week after week, he hammered wood. Months after months, Noah worked until the boat was built. The bird was taller than a tree. It was wider than a house. Noah looked at the boat. It was on dry land. There was no water anywhere nearby. Noah had obeyed God. He had built the boat. God was pleased with Noah. Then God told Noah to do something special. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, I'm going to make rain to fall on the green grass. I'm going to make it rain day after day after day. God wanted Noah to be ready for the rain. The rain would make deep puddles. The rain would flood low valleys. The rain would cover every tree and every rock. God wanted Noah to do something special. He told Noah to take two of each kind of animal into the big boat. God wanted any the animals in the boat before the first raindrop fell. Trom 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 trom. Two big, two big gray elephants walk into the boat. Twist twist twist. Through the grass come two green and black snakes toward the big boat. Clock clock clock. A big hand handled into the boat. Do do. A roaster was walking behind the hand. One after another, animal birds, insects, and reptiles went into the boat. Foxes with shiny smooth fur, felt mist with long gray tails, and fat furry skunks went into the boat that Noah had made. Every person who believed God and every animal that God wanted to ride in the boat were on board. Then God did a wonderful thing. God closed the door. Bang! God shut the door tightly. Noah and his family were safe and snug inside the boat. Splash! 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 Big raindrop fell on the boat. Splash! 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 Big rain, big rain drop fell on the garage. The slid down heavy rocks. Splash! 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 The paddles got bigger and bigger. The sky was very dark. Water was splashing again. The big boat. Soon the boat was floating in deep, deep water. All the rocks and grass and the trees were way down in the dark water. Noah and his family listened to the rain splash. A tiger on the boat yawned and started his paw as he heard the rain. A little rabbit slept softly as the rain beat open the roof of the boat. After many days, the rain stopped and the water began to go down. In fact, the big boat stopped floating. He was sitting on top of a tall mountain called Ararat. Noah looked up at the bright sunlight. Noah sent a black smooth feathered raven to took for dry land. He ran, flew back and forth. Later, Noah also sent out a soft white dove. The dove flew above the splashing water and came back to the boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days went by. Noah picked up the soft white dove and sent it outside again. The dove flew up the air above the dark water. That night, the dove came back. There was a leaf in its mouth. The leaf was from an olive tree. Noah smiled. There's were growing and dry land. More day went by. Soon there was dry ground all around. One day God talked to Noah. Go out of the ark, Noah. Take your family with you. Let all the animals came out of the ark. Noah 
came out of the boat. He brought out his family into the warm sunshine. Wiggly warm crumlet out onto the soft green grass. Little squirrel, squirrel chattered as they scrambled off the boat. Monkey ran to a tree and began to play on the branches. Noah looked at the big boat and smiled. He was glad that he had obeyed God. Noah smiled the fresh air. He felt the warm sun shine. He smiled as more animals come tumbling out of the ark and began to play. Noah was happy as he watches his family walk and run on the dry ground. God made a rainbow with many beautiful colors. The rainbow show God's loving promise that he will never flood all the earth again. Open page number 10. With your finger, trace a line on the dot from wax to his home. With your red marker, draw a line on the dot from wax to his home. Put up your marker. With your eyes, slowly follow the line that leads from wax to his home. And next, you may continue Ace House, the bird's house, and the fish. Where's the fish? Must be stay. Use your red marker. You may go. And page number 11. Following guide lines with your finger trace a line from wax to his bone from the mouse to the cheese from wax to the house fish to the aquarium with your red marker connect the dots to draw a line from wax to his home to his bone draw between the two lines put up your marker also for the mouse, wax, and the fish. Next, with your eyes, slowly follow the line you have drawn between the two lines from wax to his bone. Open page number 12. Ace Family. Listen carefully. In Ace Family are Daddy, Mama, and Ace. Ace is the only child in his family he has lots of friends ace also has dog wax ace is very excited about school he is so happy that you and he are going to be friends let's look at our social studies on page number 12 now, could you please find Daddy? Where is Daddy? Point with your finger. And next, where is Mama? Yeah, this is Mama. This is Daddy. And where is Ace? This is Ace. And where is Wax? Wax is over here. Alright, now you may use your scissors to cut this one. Cut this one. Cut this one. With your scissors and cut this one and cut this one and cut this one and after that you may use your glue put your glue on here and get this one and stick it over here this one too and the door too and this one too after you finish you may color it you may go mm -hmm.